Uh-oh. Brand new valve, plumbing valve on the sink and it and it leaks. Why does this happen? I'm here in a rental uh, unit that we own. We just got granite, brand new granite installed. But the one thing that my granite guy never does, and I never really expect them to, is to hook up the plumbing again. It's always wise. These, this, these, these are old water valves. And old water valves should always be replaced. What's old? Anything over five years, I would replace. So the project is replace two, four, six, eight valves in this house. There was one actually dripping, and that was in the kitchen. So if that one started to drip, then you know the others aren't too far away. The hard water in this area kills these valves. So a little extra time to replace the valves makes some sense. But there's a trick I'm going to show you, yeah, because this is not always the most straightforward task. Hang on. I like to use these um, brass craft. I get them in Home Depot. Half inch on the uh, on the inlet compression, and then the outlet is a three eighths inch for your for your sinks. Quarter inch. I like the quarter inch because that's a ball valve, which is much more reliable than a gate valve. And these are these are these are not cheap. These are about eight nine bucks. So um, I had to buy two, four, six, eight of them for this house. So sometimes you install a brand new sink valve. This one's a nice quarter turn, dependable, reliable, but you put it on with a compression fitting using the old nut and the old, whatever that uh, brass thing is called. And it still leaks. Why is this? I'm gonna show you. First, remove the new valve again. Now, what happens is that the brass collar, that's what you call it, in this case, my brand new valve is not as deep as the old one was. So that brass collar is sitting back, not up against the edge here like it should to seal. In fact, you can't even see it. It's, it's way back there. How do we fix this? That brass collar will never slip off because it's deformed the copper in order to seal. So how do you get, get it off? Well, first we have to knock the nut back. Okay, now we've knocked the nut back. Here's that brass collar, and it's too far back, and it'll never slip forward. Now, in this case, I barely have enough room. What I have to do is slice this with a um, hacksaw to the point where I can split it. Then I can take this off, put a new ring on, and it'll position itself so it will seal. All right, let me show you how I do that. But it looks really awkward. But the fact that it's brass, this collar, is on our side. So what you have to do is cut. Yes, it is awkward. And, and when I don't have this much room, I, and sometimes you have to cut this to get it off. I'm going to hope that I have enough, sometimes I can pull the pipe out, I'm going to hope that's enough room to slide the, the saw back and forth. But here we go. Getting it started is the hardest part. But once you get it started, you'll see this is, is very soft. I mean, it's, it's just brass. Nice, uh, sharp hacksaw blade is important. Once you get it started, it goes it goes pretty quick. It, it, the hard part's getting it started. Is there any other way to fix this leak? Not really. Not really. If it doesn't seal, it doesn't seal. 
when I've got enough of this cut, I can split it. And to split it, I take a screwdriver, put it in that slot, twist it, and then you, you just, it just split. You see how it just split? There. Okay. Take the old nut off. I'm sorry for that shaky video. Now, I want to show you, there's definitely deformations that was keeping that uh, collar from sliding off. I also want to show you what really caused this problem. There's the old valve. There's the new valve. Old valve was deeper than the new valve. So that collar was sitting too far back for this to ever seal, and a collar we know won't move. So that's why normally that can work. Normally you can use the old collar and the old nut and your job is five minutes. But when that doesn't work, you have to take that collar off and put a fresh one on. So let's go get a fresh collar. It came with it. So we're going to slide the new nut and the new collar on there. New valve. Okay. And then that should be good. I got another one upstairs, and the reason this is happening on all these valves is, is for the same reason on every valve. The old valve was deep, so the collar sat back further. When I put the new valve on, that collar doesn't move so it couldn't slide up to meet the new valve and so you had a slight gap and you've had a leak let's go upstairs and do the uh do the last one so we got to do the same thing to this one now this one i'm going to have a little more room for the hacksaw you're going to see so let's take it off take the uh, valve off okay let's see. Right. old collar old nut collar has to come off again the hacksaw have more moving on the hacksaw, which makes this go faster. But it is pretty quick because it's a nice soft brass. You can already see that slot. Never put any stress on the pipe itself and never saw any further than the collar. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Screwdriver in the uh, slot. Twist the screwdriver. There it goes. Slide off the old collar. Once again, new nut, new collar, and put the new valve back on. Let's turn on the water. Okay, we had re relieved the pressure with the hose bib. Close that again. And you just begin to hear it flow. All right, first sink. Dry, dry. Second sink. Dry, dry. Kitchen sink. Dry, dry. Now, pressure is still building. So we're gonna do this a couple of times. Upstairs sink. Dry, dry. 
Well, I'm not gonna call it a success yet, but we're looking pretty good. Okay. Ah, still not all the way. Best. Dry, 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 dry. Boy, let's fill. Dry and dry. Anyway, that's an old plumber's trick I learned years ago. And it's invaluable. So there you have it. How to fix a brand new valve, sink valve, that still leaks. Hope this was helpful.